It's no secret that Canva is one of the most used and trusted graphic design tools among online business owners, and there's good reason for it. Not only is it super user-friendly, the team at Canva is always making the platform better and consistently rolling out new features, which is exactly what we're talking about today. I'm sharing six new capabilities that Canva recently released that are gonna level up your design game and save you time and effort in the process. Now, if you're new to Canva, you've never used it before, you can use it completely for free on Canva's free plan, but they also have an upgraded page Canva Pro plan that gives you access to additional more advanced features and a lot more elements, photos, graphics, and fonts. So while you can do pretty much everything you need to on the free Canva, you might want to look into Canva Pro because you'll have access to so much more and have a lot more capabilities at your fingertips. So if you're interested in trying out Canva Pro, I have a free 30-day trial linked in the video description box below. You can give that a try for free for 30 days to see if it's a good fit for your business. Okay, let's jump into release number one. All right, the first new tool we're talking about today is Dream Lab for brand photos. If you're familiar with Canva, you know that Dream Lab is Canva's amazing AI tool where you can generate visuals and graphics and images, but they just released a new feature of Dream Lab specifically for creating stock photos to use with your brand kit. So if you're on Canva Pro, you'll be able to click this little icon that says brand and create your own brand kit. So we can go into one of mine so you can see what a brand kit looks like. You've got the ability to upload different logos. You've got your brand color palette, brand fonts. You can add a brand voice for a writing, and you can upload photos, graphics, and icons. All of these will be saved in your brand kit so that when you're designing, you'll be able to simply just click into your brand kit to have easy and quick access to all of these different assets and colors and fonts. So the new Dream Lab feature is available if you click into one of your brand kits like I have, and you scroll down to the photos section under where it says assets, you'll see this box that says generate on brand images on demand. Basically the way this works is we can now use any of our stock photos that we've already uploaded to our brand kit as a style reference to generate a new high quality photo that we can add as additional stock photos to use as part of our brand kit. So the Dream Lab AI is going to generate new stock photos for us based on a different one that we've already uploaded. So we're gonna choose the one that we'd like to base our new photos off of, whichever one we like the style of. So let's take this one right here with the keyboard and coffee cup and there's a three dots up in the right corner. I'm gonna click on that and click where it says generate from photo. And this will pop up a box that says Dream Lab for your brand, describe what photos you'd like to create in this style. So I'm going to give it a prompt describing exactly what I want for my new photos. So let's say, for example, I want something with a marble kitchen countertop with a laptop and coffee mug on top. Now I can change the aspect ratio here where it has a square and says one to one. That's what it's set at right now. So if I didn't change it, it would be a square photo, but I can click this and choose a different orientation and aspect ratio if I like the photo to be something else other than a square. For now, I'm just gonna leave a square and click generate. And here it's given me four different stock photos that the AI has generated according to my prompt. So I can click into these to see them larger and I can click through to see which ones I like and might want to use. And these are all actually really great quality and it based the style of it on the one that I had selected before. So you can see they're all in that sort of light and eerie style. So now I can select whichever ones I want to add to my brand kit by just clicking this little checkbox up in the top left corner. So let's say I only like these two. I want to add these to my brand kit. I'm going to select those and click add to to brand kit. So this is just a really amazing way to generate photos using AI based on the specific style that you like for your brand kit and not have to worry about purchasing others to upload them into Canva or even finding just the right ones inside of the Canva library, even though there are a lot of amazing ones, but this is a way to get exactly what you want based on your preferred style. All right, let's move on to feature number two here, which is drawing in present mode. So if you're familiar with Canva presentations, when you're doing a presentation within Canva, you can come over to the top right and choose what mode if you want to use Canva to actually present with your slide. So I can choose present full screen, present or view, present and record. There's lots of different options here, but the new feature is if I'm going into, let's say present full screen. I click present and now I'm in my present mode. So this is if I'm using a slide deck to make a presentation. Of course, I can always click through my slides like I've always been able to with Canva present mode. But now I can come down to the bottom menu and I have the draw on page tool. So if I click on this, I can choose which marker or pen I'd like along with the color. So let's say I want this thin marker and I'm going to change this to a color that I like. And now I can draw on my slides as I'm presenting them. So I might say hi or I could click 
through and as I'm presenting, I might want to just add some little doodles or marks onto my slide presentation as I'm going through. And I can do that easily with this new draw tool in present mode. So this is just a really fun way as I'm going through these to highlight certain words or points that I want to along the way and make my slide presentation a little more interactive. Now, quick side note here, so many different business owners, coaches, teachers, online entrepreneurs use these kind of slide decks for their business, but a lot of them may not be designers or may not even want to start from scratch building their own slide presentation like this. So they're going to go and purchase a template. These types of Canva templates have become really popular and highly in demand lately on platforms like Etsy. So if you're interested in selling digital products to make money from home, this is a great niche and industry to get into selling these types of Canva templates. You could create and sell templates for something like this, a slide deck presentation, but you could also create Canva templates to sell in a variety of different types. People buy templates like this for social media posts, for event and party invitations, for party decor. The sky really is the limit when selling Canva templates. So if you're interested in this and you think you might want to make some extra money on the side selling these types of digital products from home, I've got you covered. I've got something that's going to be super valuable to help you get started and give you a shortcut. It's a whole bundle of six different Canva templates in two trendy styles that you can take as your own and sell as your first digital products. This way, you're not actually having to start from scratch, but you've got a starting place as well for creating your own digital products and getting some ideas and inspiration going as you create products to sell. This bundle of Canva templates comes with commercial usage rights, so you can feel free to make these your own and sell them online as your own digital product. You've got full commercial rights to sell these as you please. So if you'd like to grab that free bundle of Canva templates, I've got the link for it in the video description box below. You can click on that, download those for free and get started today. All right, let's move on to our next Canva new release, which is design smart swapping. With the new smart swap capability, you can actually auto swap two different elements that are evenly spaced out in your project. So for instance, I've got these little numbered lines that are each evenly spaced out. So if I click and drag to select all three of them, then I'll see these little arrows in the middle of each, which I can click and auto swap two of the elements. So I can bring this down here, I can swap the different lines and it automatically snaps back into place where I've got the other one placed. This is an amazing way to save time when I'm wanting to switch things around inside of my design. So I'm not having to manually go through and try to figure out the spacing when I'm changing out elements within my design. I can simply just click to highlight all of them, click the middle arrow button and swap them automatically and easily. All right, next on the list is color options for video mockups. If you're not familiar with the term mockup, it's basically an image or a video that you can use to place your own design on top of a specific product. Mockup images and videos are used a lot of times for people that are creating physical print on demand products that they might not ever have physically in their hands. So they're not going to take their own photos. They're going to use a mockup of that product and just digitally layer on the design so people can see what it would actually look like. Or you could use mockup images and videos for digital products as well. So Canva has had a mockup app that gives you access to these types of pro level mockup videos and images for a while, but the new feature is now that you can choose a color option for that product inside your mockup video. So on Canva, if we come over to the left and we come to the apps section, we can type in mockups and this is the app we want to choose called mockup. This is where you can look at different images and videos depending on what you want your mockup to be, but we can come into the video section, click see all and choose the video that we want. So I've already selected this one with the tote bag and how a mockup works is that you're going to drag your design image on top and it automatically snaps into place with this frame that Canva's built into this mock-up video. So let's say I've got a design I want to drag on. I'm going to just use these flowers as an example. I can just drag my element from the upload section if I've got my file already uploaded, drag it on top of the video mock-up. And here we can see now if I zoom in that it's placed my graphic image on the tote bag. So previously, this is all I could do with this. I have the video now that can play showing off the tote bag with my graphic design, but the tote bag is still that creamy white color and I didn't have an option to make it a different color until now. So now if I want that actual tote bag to be a different color, I can select the video and come up to the top where it says edit. And then over to the left, I can click on the little circle in the color section to choose a different color. So let's say I want this tote bag to be a light green color. I can select the color I want and click apply changes. And there it's made my tote bag green. So if I click to play my video, I've got a green tote bag there 
and I can make this any custom color I'd like. This is just another improvement in these types of video mockups to make it more accurate for the products that I'm offering. Okay, we're about to move on to the next new release, but if you're getting value out of this video, I would be so grateful if you would click that little subscribe button to subscribe to our channel, and that makes sure that you never miss one of our new uploads when we release our new videos every Tuesday. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as that helps to promote it with YouTube and to get it shown to a wider audience of people that it can help. All right, on to our next new tool with Canva, and this is data labels with bar charts. So if you're familiar with Canva, you know that you can come into the element section and there's a whole chart area. So if you come over here to the left where it says elements, you can scroll down to see the charts area, click see all. And this gives you all types of charts from bar charts to line charts, pie and donut charts, lots of different options here. But for this specific feature, we're looking at bar charts. So if we want to use a bar chart, we can add the chart to our project. And this is what the chart would normally look like. We've got the ability to edit the items on the side and the series on the top. So the text on those has already been able to be edited, but we never had labels in the middle in these data sections. Of course, we can put the numbers in for those here on the left and we can see them if we hover over them. But when we're not hovering over, we can see there's no text there. But now we have the option to add those labels. So we can come over on the left to where it says settings and toggle on the switch next to data labels. This automatically adds text labels to each of these sections so we can easily see what the numbers are for those different data points. What's awesome about these data labels as well is that we can choose alignment. So if you watch the numbers here that are over these sections, if I switch over to center, that's gonna center them. I can choose base, which puts them all the way at the base of the section, or I can choose the end of the section. And I can toggle on this little button that says stack totals as well to add the total after each bar stack. Another amazing thing about this is that if I go to resize this bar chart, the text is going to resize with it, making sure that it feels cohesive no matter how small or large I have this chart inside my project. All right, moving on to our next new release, which is improved quality within Magic Media. So Magic Media is nothing new inside of Canva. That's where we can go to use AI to generate our own photos and images and videos. But Canva has recently drastically improved the quality of the videos when you're using Magic Media. So to access Magic Media when you're inside of Canva, you can come over to where it says elements, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says AI image generator. We're going to click generate your own. And you can see the little tabs here at the top, images, graphics, or videos. So we're specifically talking about generating a video here. And we're just going to test out a few of these videos to see the quality. So one prompt I tried was a waterfall with sun rising over it. When I generated that, this is the video that it came up with, which I think is actually really great quality. It looks very realistic. But I want to try another one. So now I'm going to give it a different prompt and say a field of flowers in the rain. Okay, so let's see what it came up with here. We can click to add this to our project and watch. So again, we've got our field of flowers in the rain looking very realistic. And I feel like the quality of this is much better than the videos that I had seen previously generated with Magic Media. So this is just a really great feature that's been up leveled and improved to help our AI generated videos look more realistic and more polished. So friend, if you don't yet have Canva Pro and you want to try it out, don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get your free 30 day trial to see if that would be a good fit for you. And also don't forget to click the link below to grab your free bundle of Canva templates that comes with those commercial usage rights that you can use to sell as your own digital products to make money online from home. I hope this was helpful for you. I'd love if you'd comment below and let me know which of these new Canva features is your favorite, which one is going to be the one that you go to and use most often. And I can't wait to see where you go with your designs. Talk soon, friend.